All parties in the matter of Moore versus Askew. Step forward. Tamisha Moore is suing fellow motorist, 24-year-old Tylesha Askew, for car damage, car rental fees, and pain and suffering resulting from a road rage incident. The two of you sort of got into a sort of ridiculous road ragey kind of situation while both of you were in your cars that ended up in a collision. This happened nine months ago. And it is your claim, Miss Moore, that Miss Askew rear-ended you after some chasing around because somebody wouldn't let somebody in to get into their lane, and then somebody sped up, and then brake slammed, and you both had children in the car? Am I correct? Yes. The defendant says, well, actually, you pulled into a gas station, she followed you at your request, she, you told her to come in, she followed you, and then you backed up into her. That's our story. Your insurance company came to do an inspection. Correct. On what date? It was a couple of days later. And the car was located where when the insurance company came in? In front of my house. Had you taken the car to a mechanic? Not at that current time, no. Okay. It, was only, it was only a couple of days later. So you hadn't taken the car to a mechanic? No. Insurance company came, looked at the bumper of your car, and gave you a check for $1,300. Yes, approximately a month later, they, they mailed me a check, correct. Now, when did you take the car in to be fixed? August. So the insurance company sent you a check the end of March, and you drove the car March, April, May, June, and July for five months. Because mm -hmm. you drove that car every day, correct? Correct. And then what you're telling me is, in August, you took the car in <laughs> to be fixed. And when they took off the bumper, they found additional damage. So you want $5,000 from her? Correct. <laughs> it's not going to happen. <laughs> Do you understand? It's not going to happen. So far, did I get the story right? Mm. You had an accident. Not there was accurately. a little road rage going on. Well, I got the basis of all I need for the story, which well, is... she all... said that I backed up into her. I don't care whether happened. you backed up into her, whether you did a helicopter in a pirouette <laughs> around it. It doesn't matter. Your insurance company gave you $1,300 to fix the damage to the car that you allege she caused. They came and they paid you. You chose not to have your car fixed that month that was with the $1,300 to take it into a mechanic and have it fixed. You drove the car around for five months. And then some little bird said, well, why don't you take the car in to have it fixed now, five months later? And five months later, after driving the car every single day, you take the car in and you say there was damage to the car found under the bumper that she caused five months earlier. I assume this is not a mechanic. Correct. So those are the basic, those are your basic facts. And I'm here to tell you, you have no case. How is Here. that? How is that? Yes. 